When I was 16 years old, I had no idea my life was about to change forever. My journey with hypoparathyroidism began with a surgical complication. The summer before my junior year of high school, I was diagnosed with a condition called Graves' disease, and to treat it, I had surgery to have my thyroid removed. During the surgery, four other organs called the parathyroids were also removed inadvertently. The four parathyroids live behind the thyroid in the neck. Their job is to regulate the calcium in our blood. For about three years, my calcium level was so unstable that every few weeks, emergency measures had to be taken to save my life. At any moment and with no warning, my calcium level would drop dangerously low, which affected my heart, my muscles, and my ability to breathe. It was a very scary time. I was always waiting for the next time I would have to rush to the ER for emergency IV calcium. After about three years, my calcium levels got a little more stable. However, my life outside the hospital is only possible with a strict schedule of medicine over the 24 hours of the day. Every person with hypoparathyroidism manages their condition differently, but we all have to regulate our calcium from the outside of our bodies. This is extremely difficult because the body's need for calcium is constantly changing. There is no cure for hypoparathyroidism, only treatment for the symptoms. My life went so quickly from a regular high school student to a person with a medical condition and a lot of physical limitations. Even once I was able to live outside the hospital, I was very weak and unable to return to school. I watched my friends move forward while I could hardly walk down the sidewalk I used to run down. I felt like I didn't know who I was anymore. I realized that I had to make a choice. I could either be sad forever about the normal lifestyle I'd lost, or I could be grateful for everything I still had and push forward. I had to come to terms with a new version of myself. I didn't have the physical strength to do the things I used to love, so I decided I would build a new me by finding new interests. Most of my day was filled with taking medications, so I searched for evening continuing education classes to see if I could find something that would bring me joy. Once a week, I took an introduction to watercolor class at a local art center. Then I attended a philosophy lecture series at a nearby college. I joined a meditation club. I took a poetry class. I realized that in one hour each week, you can actually learn a lot about yourself. I looked everywhere for resources for young people with health conditions, and I was disappointed when I didn't find too many. That's what inspired me to write my children's book, Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage. Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage is a rhyming story that follows a girl on a trip to the doctor's office and back to school. I know how overwhelming it can be to find the right words when people ask you about having a health condition. So my main goal with Ariana Rose, A Story of Courage is to give kids easy to remember mantras to keep in their pocket. I take special medicine and get extra rest, have a positive attitude and do my best. It will get easier after a while, so I always keep hope and remember to smile. Because hypoparathyroidism is so rare, the small community stretches around the world. Ariana tells her friends not to worry or fret. She's still the same girl she was when they met. I have been able to donate my book to children in many countries, and on a few occasions, I have even been able to do international book readings over Skype. Being able to see these kids connect with my book has changed my life. I would like children with health conditions to know that they're not alone, and I want their classmates to see a positive example of acceptance. I used to be a person who wanted to do everything for myself. But one thing I've learned is that you don't have to be afraid to ask for help. I've found that people can be very kind and accommodating if they know what you need. I've gone from being a person who felt weak saying, I'm so sorry to bother you, to being a person who feels strong saying, I have a health condition, and here is what I need to succeed. It would only be half the story if I told you I've come this far by myself. My mom, my dad, and my brother mean everything to me, and they're always there to help me remember to take life one day at a time. We all face something in our lives, and it's not our obstacles that define us, it's the way we face them. Your life is so valuable. Whether you have a chronic illness or a limb difference or a disability, that doesn't define who you are. You are not your health condition. 
you are so much more. 